Hello, welcome to Lab View Advantage. In this video, we'll discuss about the CLED preparation sample exam number two. In this question, you have been asked, can a wire be used to pass data between loops that are intended to run in parallel? So you just have to select yes or no. To observe this, we'll go into the Lab View first. We know that LabVIEW is made up of the virtual instruments that are the VIs. So basically, just like in the text-based programming language, we write any statement, we use VIs to uh, write these statements. For example, I got the addition VI, that is basically the statement equivalent to the text-based programming language followed by the sub-VI. So I'll do some calculation over there. So I got like a two calculations or the two statements. So if I use the highlight execution and if I run it, I can see that the first statement will run first and only the second will run. This is basically the data flow. So the second statement is dependent on the output of the first statement, that is the addition function. That's why the subtraction VI will wait until the addition function has not completed its execution. Now, let's create two identical loops. So I finished one loop, and what I'll do is I'll copy that one, so I've got like a two parallel loops, okay? First of all, I want to run them in parallel, but what I'm going to do is, rather than uh, using the constant, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete a constant and then connect the wire uh, from the first loop. So if we turn on the highlight execution and if we'll run it, what we'll observe is the second loop will wait until the first loop has not finished executing. That means the second loop is basically the statement after the statement of the first loop. So now when I stopped my first loop, only the second loop will start executing. So this is the meaning of the data flow. Now if I stop and then if I remove that wire, so now both of the loops are independent to each other. So if I use the highlight execution again and run it, what I'll see is both of the loop will run at the same time. So let's get back to our CLL equation. So basically, now we know that you cannot use a wire to pass the data between two loops that are intended to run in parallel. So the, our answer will be no. So please like, share, and comment on this video. And subscribe to this channel for future LabVIEW videos. Thank you very much.